Hello people, Moonslap here from Candown Games and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own cube world server which is a lot easier than it does seem. Okay, so what you want to do first is open up your cube world folder and to do that all you have to do is right click on the cube world icon on your desktop and click open file location. Then what you want to do is find the server.exe file in there, double click that and that will open the server and get it running for you. Okay then from cube world just hit start game, you choose your character that you're obviously using and then click click connect to server in the bottom if you want to go ahead and type in your IP address or the IP address of a friend whose server you're joining but obviously they don't have to do the server settings first and from then when it loads up you are in the game on your server in, in, in night time but obviously it might be day on yours. Okay, so that's how you set the server up itself as for the server from what Cube World will do. You will obviously have to do your port forwarding, which I can't really explain how to do port forwarding because it is different on everyone's router, rotor, router, whichever you call it. But you just want to go into your router settings, which will be done by just typing in your IP address into your address bar on your browser. The port you will want to forward is 12345, as simple as that sounds. It is that easy. And then maybe look for... On mine, it's toolbox and then games and applications to be able to do it on yours. Maybe settings, port forwarding. It is called port forwarding on some settings, but obviously mine, it's games and applications. And I create a new application, forward that, and then assign it to my IP address. So obviously, good luck with port forwarding. There are websites out there that will help you out. But I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions about setting up a server that I haven't already gone through, do leave a comment and I will get back to you. And also let me know if you had as much trouble as I did getting your hands on this game. Thank you for watching and goodbye.